Hello viewers, my name is Monica Manana from Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan. Today we are in Staines with Mrs. Daisy Semba, uh, one of the Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan members. Mrs. Semba unfortunately lost her husband in Zimbabwe sometime in December 2016. With me here, she's going to tell us about her experiences from the time that her husband passed on to the time that he was buried. How are you, Mrs. Semba? I'm fine, thank you. It's nice to have you back in the United Kingdom. How was your travel in Zimbabwe? Uh, my travel to Zimbabwe wasn't very hard, even though it wasn't a pleasant one. My husband had gone on a holiday to Zimbabwe. Unfortunately, he got sick while he was there, then he passed away. And when I heard the news, I had to contact Diaspora Final Cash Plan, and they didn't give, him, give me any problems. They just did send me a form, and I filled in the form and they were ready to do anything here in the UK or in Zimbabwe. Okay, so when you say they were ready to do anything... Um, Regarding financially, they were ready to, to give me the money for the funeral here in the UK or even in Zimbabwe, they were ready to give me US dollars. Mr. Semba, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, what is, how did you manage, what, how did you get to join the Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan? Uh, just for a cash, funeral cash plan, I saw it on Facebook and I was just browsing and then I, I had to think about it. Then when I decided to talk to my family about it, you know, with us Africans, it's, it's a taboo thing to talk about death. And my husband and daughter were not pleased about the idea. They brushed it off, but I had to keep on thinking about it. Then I had to contact the Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan and I joined without their consent. And later on, they agreed to it. Wonderful. So you, you brought your husband to the understanding of the importance of a diaspora funeral cash plan? Yes, I did. And in the end, it helped a lot. So tell me a bit more about um, how would you advise people in the diaspora? Because you mentioned we are far away from home. And it's important that we have this, uh, some sort of uh, backup plan. I would advise us, all Africans in the diaspora, whether you are from West Africa, any other African country, to join a funeral policy for peace of mind. If anything happens to one of your families, there's a funeral plan for families. And it's very affordable. And you can do it. I know you Africans from Africa, you can do it. Please join. Yes, for a final Thank you very much, Mrs. Semba. You've heard from the horse's mouth. It is important to have funeral cover if you are in the diaspora, because when it comes to you, you will not know when it come, what time, what time of a day it comes. And when it happens, we would need the money to repatriate or to be buried back home. So I urge you, uh, viewers, it is something that we need to start thinking about. We all know that death is a taboo area. People really want to talk about it, but it's time we face the reality that death is real and we need to be prepared for it. Thank you once again, viewers. Thank you once again, Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan.